North Carolina's stalled budget talks will remain on hold until after the holiday. That's right. The governor vetoed the budget actually last Friday, and now Republicans need some Democrats to join them in overriding the governor's veto. And as Bill O'Neill explains, a Democratic lawmaker from the triad is ready to join the other side. One local Democrat has already voted for the Republican budget. That was before the governor vetoed it, and he has millions of reasons why he might do so again. In a budget with nearly 500 earmarks totaling more than $350 million, Democrat Cecil Brockman's High Point District gets more than $2 million. Nearly half of the money for a local jazz festival, but also hundreds of thousands of dollars to help fight the city's violent crime problem. I've got members of my family who are afraid to uh, live in their own community, so $450,000 is you know, a good amount of money uh, to go directly towards stopping the violence. For Republicans to override the governor's veto, they will need a handful of Democrats to defect to their side. Are the Democrats going to be able to stand firm and support the governor's veto? Uh, yes, the veto will be sustained. The Democrats are going to back the governor. Now, I know there's a handful of people that may not, but the Democrats as a whole are going to support the governor. But Brockman says today he remains undecided. How we get Medicaid expansion, uh, you know, you know, at the end of the day uh, is not as important to me. So if we get it in a special session, then that's fine. Brockman says he likes the Republicans' offer to hold a special session on health care, an offer Governor Cooper has already rejected. To you, though, Medicaid expansion, just like the governor, is a must. It is a must, yeah. It makes too much sense. It, it, it's going to mean uh, a whole lot to the whole state of North Carolina, including my district. But he's not willing to do the special session. You are. Potentially, I am. Yeah, I, with correct, yeah it, it just depends on what the deal is. Brockman says he has meetings scheduled next Monday with both the governor and the Speaker of the House. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.